Thank you very much for staying with us on the AM show. Let's talk now about Impact Week. What's that? Well, Ghana is saddled with a lot of socioeconomic problems that have proven very difficult to deal with. Youth unemployment, sanitation, the effects of climate change as seen in irregular rainfall patterns, perennial flooding, difficulties in agriculture, among other things. The question is, how do we equip the next generation for employment to become inspiring leaders, successful entrepreneurs, and game changers? Well, Impact Week is a global sustainable solution program to deal with problems using design thinking. And this year, Impact Week, supported by the Lufthansa Group, will be hosted in Ghana at the Heritage Christian College, a university in Amasaman, Accra. Well, we have our guests from the university to throw some light on this program. We're joined by Dr. Samuel Chumisi, Ankara President, Heritage Christian College, Amasaman. We also have Conrad Kakraba. Conrad is chairman of the Local Planning Committee, Impact Week Ghana 2022 uh, of the Heritage Christian College. Okay. Doc, Conrad, a very good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for hosting us. And thank you so much for uh, joining the conversation. But, but tell me, this entire plot, this entire idea supported by Lufthansa and the Christian College yeah. in Amasaman, how did it come about? What is it all about? Uh, I think President... Okay, so I'll, I'll let our <laughs> Doc um, go for that. Our core values include global exposure and competence okay. and entrepreneurship, among others. And so as uh, people responsible for the management of the school, we are always looking for opportunities to uh, give our students not only head knowledge, but uh, global competencies that would help them uh, solve problems. Okay. And so as a result of that, uh, through our networks, we were able to hook up with uh, the sponsors of Impact Week. Mm. Because I was about to ask, I mean, of all the university colleges, of all the other groupings, mm. how come your institution was selected? So you actually put yourself forward? Yeah, 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 yeah. Through our networks and those who are behind the uh, running of Heritage Christian University College. Yeah. Mm. Now, you are chairman yeah. of this group. Uh, what has it been like? What does it mean, basically, to be a part of this program? It means a lot uh, for us. This is the third time it's been held in Ghana. Okay. The first two times it was held at the University of Ghana, and this is the third time, and it's a private university that is hosting it, and we are so, so privileged to have that opportunity. First of all, because entrepreneurship is one of our core values, as the president mentioned, okay. we want to see how our young students and graduates actually embrace the opportunities that are available through entrepreneurship. How do they identify solutions to problems? Mm -hmm. And that's what design thinking really wants to um, be used to appropriate some of the uh, solutions that we can have to different aspects of our economy. Uh, we are talking about agriculture. Okay. We're talking about uh, sustainability in terms of uh, climate change and how do we use renewable energy sources and all of that. We are talking about youth unemployment, which is a huge problem mm. in the country. We are talking about... Major problem. Exactly. IT and technology and security and all of those. And so we position ourselves as a university that is going to train our students to solve the problems. And they also saw the prospects in that uh, offer, and they, they reached out to us as well. So are these the specific areas that the program is going to focus on? Exactly. Unemployment, um, innovation, uh, entrepreneurship. Are those agriculture, the uh, exactly. areas is going to focus Exactly. So they're going to, in a period of, um, so they are currently doing what we call the train the trainer session. Okay. Uh, so they've done that for three days. This is the last day. And then next week, 110 students will be taken through these various tracts of training uh, using design thinking. And there are 29 mm. of international coaches that have come down to Ghana across the world from about seven different countries to come and then uh, support this particular process. Uh, Doc, do tell me, so obviously there's an end game. This should have a sort of impact on yes. the students who are going to participate. Yeah. How will this be a game changer for these students? Uh, in a number of ways. One. Um, we are, uh, through this program, hoping that uh, each group of students that will go through the training will come up with uh, a business plan uh, to s address a problem. And the school... Okay, so it's, it's going to adopt a very practical approach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. So it's not just one of those things. <laughs> so all the teams, I don't know how many teams you, you have formed, but 
or the various 18, groups, 18, 18 teams, exactly. teams yeah. of students. 18 of them. Yeah. yeah. Why? Um, after we've gone through the training, yeah. our goal is that each of them will come up with a business plan mm -hmm. that addresses particular socio-economic problems. Yeah. And our Center for Entrepreneurship, Philanthropy and Ethics, CEP, at Heritage Christian College, mm -hmm. is ready to support them in whatever mm -hmm. way, mm -hmm. whether with uh, working capital mm -hmm. or technical know-how, for them to implement yeah. uh, the, the, the plans. And this particular one, uh, Benjamin, is, you see, the university has really been doing this uh, yeah. in terms of uh, supporting students to right. look for solutions to problems and then develop business out of them. And we've given over 300,000 cities to our students to start their own businesses. Because for Since, us... Uh, 20 uh, 2017. 17. For us, that should for be... For your the, own students. Exactly. Yeah, our own students. That wow. should be... 300,000 cities. Yeah. Exactly. That should be the game changer because if we just equip students with head knowledge, but they come out and then right. they're not able to get employment or they don't have skills to be able to solve any problems, then why did they even go to the university? And that is one of the things that we are focusing on as a university. Mm. Uh, if, to both of you, I was just about to ask, yeah. talk about funding, and you brought this in. So... <laughs> These, this cluster of what, 18 teams, yeah. mm -hmm. how are they going to get the funding? Is that where Lufthansa comes in? No. So Heritage Christian College, mm. from the onset, uh, made a policy where we set up what we call a Center for Entrepreneurship, Philanthropy, and Ethics. Okay. So the center um, has a foundation okay. that supports students, entrepreneurship, and startups. Mm. Yeah. So, so after this training program, those whose business plans are judged feasible are definitely going to be supported yeah. based upon okay. the, the kind of logistics. Of course, so the viability of, yeah, exactly. of, of the program yeah. must first be screened. Yeah. Yeah. And if it's deemed viable, yeah. then you and can then be supported. supported. And as we speak, uh, we have uh, 20, I think 25 student-led startups, yes. even before this week, before Impact Week, yeah. that the Center for Entrepreneurship are already uh, supporting. Hmm. with different sums of money as working capital and also with um, technical uh, know-how know -how exactly. in terms of uh, faculty members okay. who are coaching. So some students, uh, even before they graduate, they have their businesses already as we speak. Right. And some of our Which is the proper thing to do, the yeah. right thing to do. Yeah. They are into all kinds of things yeah. and they are hmm. excited about it. Last time, sorry, right. Benjamin, last time Joy News did a story. Yeah. They came to campus to cover a story our students, three of them, were sent to the U.S. and the they, University of San Diego. San Diego, and they contested in a global student innovation contest, okay. and they came out the number one in, wow. the, in the whole competition. How long ago was this? That was 2018. 2018. Okay. And they had started a factory using human excreta to produce oh, charcoal. I think I, I think you, you heard I about followed, that. I, I, exactly. I heard a bit of that. So that's one of the things. And for that one, they won a, a seed capital of um, fifteen thousand US dollars to right. actually be able to implement the idea, they've set up their factory. Apart from that, we're also appealing to partners, sponsors, any organization that is interested in these tracks that we are talking about to partner with us. Whatever way you can support, either by mentorship or you know, incubation, whatever, if it's money to support any of those prototypes, you are invited to be part of it. The number to call is my number. Can I put it out now? Yeah, you can yeah. go ahead. So it's 020 3032 020 67 30 One last time, just in case someone. Yeah. <laughs> 020 67 30 And uh, you can reach out to me and we can have a conversation about how you can be a partner in this particular innovation program. Conrad, I'm sure a lot of those who are watching are eager, especially young people. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. And unemployment is a reality, yeah. a stark reality in our yeah. country. Yeah. Uh, who can participate? Is it, is it, or is it restricted to students of the Heritage Christian College? For now, yes, because they have a set limit for those that they can impart on. And then yeah. after that, we can now take it up as a university to invite any other person who is interested to come for that kind of training as well. So for now, it is only for our university. Right. Uh, for Doc, so we know that some processes went into, you actually put yourself forward yep. to host uh, this uh, impact week yep. and all of that. But what, what is it going to do for your university community, your college community, and maybe the nation at large? What, what, what is this going to do? Well, it, it's going to provide uh, problem-solving skills to our students, mm. even to our faculty. Because before we train uh, our students, yeah. all faculty, how many of them 
uh, 25. Okay, so faculty themselves are going through this design thinking training. Yeah. Okay. So you can imagine the, the you know, ripple effect, the, the ripple effect yeah. uh, in terms of knowledge and ability to uh, solve problems at personal levels, at community levels, and, and district levels. Yeah. Mm. That's it. Tell me also about, I mean, someone may be curious about your institution, yeah. uh, the Heritage Christian uh, College. What, what, what can you tell us? Well, um, what else do you do, basically? Yeah. Okay. So, Heritage Christian College was set up in, we became an accredited institution in 2015. It's so, very important, the bit about accreditation. Sure. Yeah. It's, in recent times, it's come That's to right. Exactly. So, That's, accredited by GTEC, yeah. uh, formerly NAB, NAB. but right. now... Ghana Tertiary Education, Education Commission. Commission. Right. Uh, we are affiliated to KNUST. Yeah. Okay. And uh, we offer courses, uh, business related courses, IT and, the uh, and theology. Um, yeah, mostly business and IT. Mm -hmm. That's our area of specialization. Now, the school was set up purposely to provide a missing link in tertiary education on the continent. Okay. And you may ask me, what is the missing link? Mm -hmm. Two areas. We are heavy on ethics where we are drawing on Christian principles, Christ-like values to, to inculcate in students and in everybody. That is number one. Mm. And secondly, we um, are finding creative, innovative ways of providing um, job-creating skills so that at the end of the period when our students graduate, we do not want to see them going around looking for jobs that are non-existent they should be able to create something. So ir irrespective of your major, irrespective of your area of specialization, whether you are studying accounting or Bible or IT, whatever it is, you go through uh, some hands-on entrepreneurial training, everybody. Mm. I mean, it's not, it, it's expected. <laughs> it is not, uh, it's for, uh, not for scoring. Yeah. So you don't get uh, a grade per se, but we have structures in place that makes it almost mandatory for everybody to right. go through some sort of a entrepreneurial training. Mm. And we think that people should, even though you may not have the natural flair uh, to become entrepreneur, but we think we should all think innovatively. Yeah. We should all think in ways that solve problems. Yeah. Mm. And, and therefore, that is one of our uh, distinctiveness, yeah. I would say. You, you remind me, I see you want to come in, but you remind me of the Apostle Paul. Uh, he would go and preach, but we all know he was a tent maker. Sure. That's it. So you must see, we don't do have this time. on one hand. We don't have time. I've <laughs> told you. <we're> <laughs> the real work on the other hand. Yeah. So our annual uh, startup challenge that we organize yeah. on annual basis for right. our students, the guy that got the highest, I mean, the top award mm. last year was a Bible major. And he has developed a business plan where he's producing uh, free juice. And wow. he was sponsored mm -hmm. by our Center for Entrepreneurship. Yeah. So that is the nature of school. We are not out to make profit. It's, <laughs> it's a faith-based you know, institution, and our goal is to make a difference in, in, in the way I've just described. Right. So I see you have some words uh, to share with us, final words. Yeah. Uh, add the, how people can reach out okay. to the Heritage uh, Christian, Christian College. College as well. Interesting. So um, we are very excited to host Impact Week 2022 yep. in Ghana for the third time, and it's coming live at Heritage Christian College. We are calling out to everybody who is interested in using innovative ways to solve the problems that we are saddled with to reach out to us. Uh, you can follow us on our uh, Facebook page, Heritage Christian College. On our website, just Google Heritage Christian College or www hcuc.edu.gh www.hcuc.edu.gh and then you can be a partner of this particular program all right it's been refreshing and uh, more power to your elbow thank I mean, you uh, we can only wish you well the, the very things you're talking about i'm passionate about young people yeah. youth and youth unemployment yeah. is a, a serious matter in the country so if you're going along those lines, we can only wish you the very best. Thank, Thank you. you very much. All right. <laughs> We've just been engaging Dr. Samuel Chumesi Ankara, President, Heritage uh, Christian College, Amasaman, as well as Conrad Kakraba, Chairman of the Local Planning Committee, Impact Week Ghana 2022. Gentlemen, thank you so much. It's a Thank pleasure. You.
We take a breather here, and when we return, uh, a lot more on uh, the AM show, of course, NSMQ, and uh, we'll just be taking your thoughts as well on the matters we've been discussing. Stay.